The aqueous solutions of three compounds are shown in the diagrams. Identify each compound as a non-electrolyte, weak electrolyte, strong electrolyte. So what makes a substance an electrolyte is when it's dissolved in water, the resulting solution can conduct electricity. If it can't, then the substance is a non-electrolyte. And this conduction of electricity happens because the substance breaks up into ions. The definition of a strong electrolyte is that every mole of the substance dissociates or breaks up into ions. And you can see here that every one of these atoms are separated. There's no combined atoms like you see here. So this is fully dissociated. This is a strong electrolyte. Weak electrolytes can conduct electricity, so they do break up into ions, but it's not fully. Only a portion of the dissolved substance breaks up into ions. And that's what you can see here. These molecules didn't dissociate, but these two did. So this we'll say is the weak electrolyte. A non-electrolyte effectively produces no ions in the solution. So this diagram here where none of the molecules are dissociated, this is the non-electrolyte.